now let's discuss about this topic that is the free body diagram now what is actually the free body diagram uh, when a force system is there a number of forces will be acting on the main body now when we have to find out the resultant of such bodies what do we do we will draw the free body diagrams of these force systems first and we show all the forces which are acting on that so theory says that for an, for the analysis of a structure uh, the portion is drawn separately showing the applied forces self weight reactions at the point of contact with other bodies the resulting diagram is known as free body diagram now let's see what are the steps to draw this now the first step says that select the body detach the body from ground and supporting surfaces all the supporting surfaces then draw the free body diagram of the body with the given dimension size shape and orientation now the step 2 says that represent all the forces which are acting directly on the body with the given direction and magnitude now the step 3 says that reaction forces are constraining the motion of the body now it will be very clear if we show it with an example what is the free body diagram let's say we are having a container and it is having few round surfaces let's say this is a first uh, ball like structure then one more and similarly the same okay so we consider one more here uh, we give the number to these surfaces it is a ground now let's say this is the given object and we have to draw the free body diagram of this force system the free body diagram will be drawn for any of the body let's say we are making the free body diagram for body 1 or we can say the force for this surface 1 first step says that we have to detach body 1 from all the other supporting surfaces and we have to draw the body of the same size and dimension and orientation so we draw let's say this is the body 1 now we have to see what are the various forces acting on this body due to the other surfaces now there is an adjacent body that is 2 2 will apply force on this body so what will be the direction of that force we can say this one and we say this is the force due to 2 on 1 this is the weight how we write so this is the force due to body 2 on 1 direction is there then it will have now it is having one uh, object 4 so the force will also apply a force and this will be the direction so this is the direction of force 4 on 1 same uh, another body is there that is 3 so 3 will also have a force on body 1 and this will be the direction that is the force due to body 3 on 1 from body 1 it will also have a weight and it will be in the downward direction always and due to this weight there will be a normal reaction in the upward direction right so this is known as the free body diagram for body 1 same we can draw the free body diagram for body 2 3 4 separately